Hello everybody, it's Mark Ling here and I've got with me a friend of mine that I've been friends with for several years now. Um, we first met each other through um, online marketing channels, getting to knowing mutual friends and so forth and I was really, really impressed with what he was doing. At that time you were making about, I think he was making about $5,000 a week from yeah. selling little 25 page Word documents on Amazon Kindle and he's scaled that up. He's doing over, not only is he doing over $30,000 a month, but what's got me really impressed is how well his students are doing. And it's not just him bragging about his students to me. I'm actually in their private Facebook group with his students and I keep seeing every day, I see some of them asking questions about stuff that's going on and I see others posting income screenshots and stuff like that. So some of them are making thousands of dollars a day. It's really phenomenal. Some thousands in per week, others just getting started, but they're still making sales. So clearly it's a method that works really well. He's cottoned onto something that I think is well worth replicating. Um, so he calls this virtual real estate. And we'll delve into those details shortly. But first of all, I want to introduce you guys to Ty Cohen. Welcome along, Ty. Hey, I'm excited to be here. Thanks for having me. And uh, man, I think this is going to be fun. We're going to educate people. We're going to talk about something that I'm passionate about. And uh, we'll see what happens. I can't wait to see what, uh, what I say. All right. So my job is to grill you for as much information as I can get out of you in the next, say, 10 to 15 minutes that we've got for this, for, for this particular session. And, um, and, and I'll, I'll try and get you back for one more session as well, because uh, I think it's important to cover as much as I possibly can. It's, it's just phenomenal, the success that, that you have with a relatively simple method. It's not like you have to go and write these books and stuff. It's a replicatable method that just you just have on rinse and repeat. You get people um, on your team now to just run it all for you. It's, and you're able to do other business while this just keeps ticking over like, like somebody that owns rental properties. It's, um, you know, in the physical world, except it's a heck of a lot cheaper, you know? Um, so I want to know your backstory though. Like, um, were you already a highly successful internet marketer before you did this or do you know was this something that actually was your turning point discovering this or um did i don't know like um have you had struggles along the way or was it all just plain sailing i'd, I'd like to know a bit about you and how you got involved in this yeah absolutely great question so to give you some background like i started working at walgreens pharmacy so walgreens pharmacy is a big pharmacy chain here uh, it's a big drugstore here in the u.s and um, it was actually the only job that I've kind of had, right? I started that when I was 14, worked for them for a significant number of years. And um, then after that, I tried to start a record label of all things, right? So I didn't come from an entrepreneurial background, didn't know anyone actually that owned their own business or anything like, anything like that. But I had some friends that were great singers and songwriters. And I thought, hey, I've got some connections. Let me start a record label. Didn't work out at all. But what I did get it get from this was, you know, behind the scenes, we were just talking about learning your lesson, right? So what I did get was I understood the music business a lot better. And I said, there's got to be some people out there that don't understand it. They're spending money and they're not seeing any success. So what I did was I ended up publishing some physical books around the music business that talked about how do you groom your artists? How do you get promotions? How do you write a song? How do you get booked on a radio show? Um, how do you perform your own at your own venues? Took that information, published it into physical books, and I actually sold those through a program that Amazon had, and they actually still have to this day called the Amazon Advantage Program. So the Advantage Program is for people that actually have physical books. You ship out a couple of books to Amazon. Amazon sells the books. They they handle fulfillment. They handle customer support. They handle everything else. Returns. And then after a while, I got an email from Amazon and I got an invitation to become a beta tester for their new platform, which is what we're talking about today, the Kindle Direct Publishing platform. And in it, they're talking about, hey, we're going to introduce digital books and Kindle books. And I kind of thought that it was the silliest idea ever. I'm like, who's going to want to read like digital books? Like, you know, I just couldn't imagine that. Mark, I got to tell you, this is the one time that I am happy to have been wrong because I got involved with Kindle Publishing. 
that was over a decade ago and I've made just a ton of money since then. I actually started by going in and attempting to write my first book on my own. Now, I'm, I'm not a writer, right? The books that I had written before, I had someone else write them. Um, but I attempted to write my own books and those books sold. So the first two books that I published on Amazon actually sold very well. And I said, wow, there's got to be something to this. How can I take this to the next level? And that's when I discovered other ways of getting content created, some ways that we can actually talk about on this, uh, on this call. And I think it'll, it'll really benefit your viewers. Great. No, it, it, it sounds fantastic. And um, what's, uh, just before I get into just a couple of details, um, what, what is, um, what's this done for you and your family life and so forth? Because I know a lot of people are, you know, they're working the nine to five and yep. they um, are re starting to fast realize that um, the price of living is going up well and truly in excess of the way, the, the rate at which wages go up, you know, like a house might have gone up in value double in the last 10 to 14 years, but Wages have gone up maybe 10%, you know, and it's, um, it's becoming an ever-increasing problem, both with buying houses, but also the price of just regular goods like bread, milk, you know, you name it. Even people are spending more money on water than ever before. <laughs> like, um, so how has it managed to help you in your regular life? Yeah, so that's a great question. So one of the things that it's helped us to do is to just be able to have a quality of life that is much different. Listen. Working at Walgreens Pharmacy, I was a manager, right? Uh, in charge of a store, in charge of a ton of employees. I'm working 50 hours. We got paid by a stipend, so we had to work a minimum of 44 hours a week. But I often would put in 50, 60 hours a week. I'm getting paid a decent amount of money, but I, I don't have any freedom. I, there's no time to spend with family. So when I got involved with Kindle Publishing, that totally changed things because not only do I make more money, but I'm also at a point where what's more important to me is we have four kids. So the freedom that comes along with that is most important to be like the only dad that is on a field trip with my daughter when the school goes on a trip, right? Mm -hmm. You look around and there's yeah. moms and everything else, but I'm the only dad. Like my daughter's 10 years old, 12 years old. She's gonna remember that, right? So things like that, the memories that you can't lose that are always going to be there. Um, the ability to donate to charities. So there's a few charities that we're really passionate about. One of them is St. Jude's, which is a children's hospital here in the U.S. And we just do, like, like we consistently every month donate a significant amount of money to St. Jude's. Um, and then on the more superficial side of things, right? Because you could do some things that are, that are, that are well-meaning and that give back. But then every once in a while, you want to have some fun. So we built our first house, uh, about 12 years ago. We're now in the process of building our second house. It's $1.1 million. Um, we have an amazing lifestyle. We travel to dozens of countries over the years and it's all due to Amazon. I have a saying and that saying is whatever you want in life, you make Amazon pay for it. And the way you do that is by uploading a new 25 page or more short book and each one becomes an income stream that you can use to pay for your kid's education or to pay for that vacation that you want to go on or to pay for your mortgage, right? Or to pay for your car payment. So it, it's totally changed things. It, and, and the biggest thing is, I'll leave you with this, is the paradigm shift. So yeah. going from working at Walgreens where I put in an hour's worth of work and then you get what? An hour's worth of pay, right? Yeah. Versus something like this where you put in the time one time, you upload your book one time and you're able to sell an infinite number of copies. So that's been the biggest thing and being able to share that with my, my children. I, I also think that some people don't quite realize the value in these 25 page books. So I've got a, just a couple of quick examples here. Um, oops, just moving my microphone around. Um, yeah. So like some people are thinking, wow, well, 25 pages, uh, you know, well, I buy books and they're like 200 pages and stuff like that. But we're not talking about the books that sell on Amazon Kindle for $10 here. We're talking about the ones that sell for $1, $2, $3. Ones like, say, this one here, which has sold a lot of copies. Now, you can, if you're selling really well, decide to just also, you know, click a few buttons and end up on Amazon Create Space, where you end up not only as your Kindle book on Kindle, but 
you can ship it out as well if you wish to. You don't have to though because the majority of your sales, like you say, are just Kindle. But this is a way for me to be able to show you an example. Here's a book where it was, you know, a Kindle book and then now it's a physical book. It's actually only 20, it's, it, it might look like it's 50 pages or something, but it's about 25 Word document pages because these are quite, um, as you can see, they have about 80 words per page when you actually yeah. look up close and it's got a four star rating. So it's obviously reasonably good. And it's, it's got 101 ways to respect your husband, to respect your husband. There's a, there's a little bit of storytelling at the start and then it goes into those 101 tips and it's for someone that wants to um, basically get actionable advice in this particular case. Um, but they don't want to spend more than 15 to 30 minutes reading. They don't, you know, it's not like, a market of people that it's a different market. If you want to appeal to the person that wants something to read every night for a whole week, this is, you know, yeah, totally one, different. one thing, one sitting basically type things. And it's, and it's great value. And imagine if you'd created a, a product that was all about the top 10 ways to make your dog listen to you for dog training, say, and it's, you know, covers different dog approaches or maybe a, a product on how to stop dogs specifically from dog aggression around the food bowl towards people, towards other dogs and how to be the alpha of your pack, you know, um, here's, um, here's another really short book, uh, money rules, simple path to online security. I'm not saying this is a Kindle book, by the way, I just picked it up cause I've just got it right there. But again, this would be less than 25 pages. If you actually look at this, like each point is just, it's quite short, but it's actually really good actionable advice. And so you can see why a writer, um, you know, you only have to pay them what a couple of hundred dollars and they're able to write something like that for you. And you put it up on Kindle. And even if it's a complete failure, you'll still make your money back. And a whole lot of those books, um, you end up making massive amounts of profit. Yeah, big time. You know, I, I actually, with this system, so what I do is I pay no more than $150 per book that I have written for me. Um, oh, great. Because I've, I've made a mistake when I first got started, right? My first Kindle book, I paid $600 to have written for me. That's because I didn't know what to do, right? I didn't have a system like, your yep. readers are going to be able to get access to this system. So now me and my students, we pay no more than $150 per book. And again, they're short 25 page, 30 page uh, eBooks, but here's what we find uh, Mark and what Amazon has also found. People want to be able to go in and whether it's fiction or nonfiction, they want to be able to go in and get content quickly, right? Uh, if it's something, I just bought a book by a guy by the name of price, price Pritchard and it's called U squared. It's all about reaching a quantum leap. This is 38 pages here. It's a physical book, 38 pages. And listen, I'm on the plane, right? Flying up to the Learn Center this morning. And I was able to read the entire book on my flight. And that's what people want. They want to be able to go in and get short reads that they can read while they're in an Uber or in a Lyft or at the airport or uh, as they're on their lunch break, right? Or as they're at their kids' uh, soccer or basketball practice. So what... Amazon is also finding is that the shorter reads that are priced right, and in this program, I talk about the ultimate price points. I, I've tested over 50 different price points, and I give people the ultimate price points, but they found that the shorter reads actually sell much better than the longer reads because we all have a limited amount of time. So mm -hmm. uh, it works. It makes sense it works. for Kindle too, because if you want a longer read, you'll probably buy the full, like a, I would rather own a thick, book when it's a longer read you know yeah. i'd rather own a thick book but when it's a shorter read it's like oh, hell yeah i'll just grab the kindle book that's i can just get instantly the moment i saw it you know it. It or read it from like like your cell phone i got my cell phone back here i can't grab it now but they've got yeah, the kindle, app, kindle right? on my phone as well i know what that's like and you're just scrolling through it so uh, it's a it's an amazing market there's 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 hundreds of millions of people that are out there you know that are just buying these Kindle books and it creates an amazing opportunity for anyone. Yeah, and you've got to remember also, something I'd like you to talk about maybe just really quickly, um, is you're not necessarily the market. If you don't read on Kindle yourself, that doesn't mean that you are the market. You might be interested in that niche, but there are hundreds of millions of people that do read off Kindle. That's the point. Yeah, absolutely. Listen, so I'm making tens of thousands of dollars, right? Between 30 to $50,000 a month. And I do not own a Kindle device. It's, it's incredible. I've been at this for years. I've been given Kindle devices as gifts and things like that. I tried to use them, but I'm not the market, right? My mother-in-law, we gave her a Kindle device 
maybe about four years ago. She is an avid reader. She has hundreds of books on, on this thing. I made the mistake of attaching my credit card to it. So after we gave it to her for Christmas, I see these bills that come in and she's ordering books, right? But, but mm. she's the market. She's, she's the perfect person that we want to cater to because there's, um, there's a lot of revenue potential there. Yeah, no, absolutely. Now, the, I think it was the first or second book I released on Kindle. I, I did what you're not supposed to do. I ended up, I ended up spending about $2,000 or something like that on that book. And I'll, I'll tell you though, it's certainly made me somewhere between thirty and fifty thousand dollars back. So uh, I'm not saying that um, that it's a bad thing necessarily to invest more in a book. I'm just saying that it probably, in hindsight, I would have been better off having ten or fifteen little books done rather than having one big book. I kind of got a bit lucky there. I could easily have done just as well as most people with their you know, with their 25, 25 page books, you know, where um, I've got several of those and they tend to, you know, you, you piece those together and there's just a little bit less risk for when, um, you know, one book might drop down the rankings. If you can get to a point, I think you teach your students to try and get to a point where you've got like 10 or more of these little books bringing in little income streams. It's a, a the good thing about it is it's, it's well protected. Yes, very, very well protected. I have books that I published 11 years ago, 10 years ago, that are still generating me revenue, right? And what I teach my students is you get a book published, it starts to generate you royalties. What do you do? You take some of that, you put it back into, it's just like reinvesting in your business, right? You, any good business owner, if they have a business that's doing well, what do you do? You want to, you want to get it to the point where it's, it's continuously going up and up and up and up, right? So you get a book that's published and it's doing well, you reinvest those profits. You keep doing that. You keep doing that. You can take some out and you keep putting back in. And before you know it, you have multiple income streams that are coming in. You've got niches and angles from different varying degrees. And it's just an incredible way, like I said, to, to really be able to sleep well at night. There is nothing. Here's the other thing that I got from this, Mark. When I worked at Walgreens, right, we got paid every two weeks. It was on a Friday. There is nothing like knowing that every single day you have the possibility of your book generating revenue. There is something super securing about that. Hmm. I think that it's, it's more satisfying than getting a paycheck, right? Because you see the consistency and you see the longevity and you see that, heck, all I have to do is publish more books and I generate more income. It's a super simple That's concept. Hmm. You see, so, um, it's, it definitely makes sense there. Okay, now this I've got a bunch more questions for you, and I know that we're out of time um, for this particular session. So, in the uh, I know we've got another session booked for later today. Luckily, uh, I'm going to pick up from where we left off, um, guys. Make sure that you watch the next session as well. Um, we'll be releasing that one very shortly after this one because uh, I've got I really want to grill you into more of these specifics so that people can just get out there and start start making some bank during this. It's a fantastic method. And it's one where it's, um, as we'll see in the next session, where it's virtually impossible to saturate. All right. Um, thanks so much for your time. I really, really appreciate it. And guys, uh, get in there and um, watch the next session. Yeah, and absolutely. And in the next session, Mike, remind me to tell you how my 15-year-old son, Tyler, who's a football player, is making two to $3,000 a month publishing romance novels on Kindle. Wow. Yep, definitely. We're going to be, maybe we should lead with that one. All right. Talk soon. All right.